Hi, welcome back. Today's idea is affirmations. Now, we, we've already talked about how easy it is to fall into the trap of affirming in a negative way. I can't lose weight. I've got no energy. Every Friday night, I always trip up, go for drinks with colleagues and then end up in the takeaway uh, shop. I, I'm lacking energy and I feel guilty when I leave the kids. So we can really get ourselves into a negative state of being just from our language and our vocabulary and the words that we choose. They have such an impact on reality. So today we're going to think about flipping those negative affirmations right over and every time you feel a negative thought, phrase or sentence coming out of your mouth, immediately flip it over. So for example, if you find yourself saying, I'm so weak, every Friday night I always fall into the trap of going for drinks with my colleagues and then ending up in the kebab shop and then I feel yucky for the rest of the weekend. So a way to flip that over on its back would be, I love how empowered I feel when I stand firm in my knowing that going for drinks with my, with my work colleagues isn't the right thing to do for me. I love how powerful I feel when I opt for a soft drink, and then I end up going to bed feeling joyous, proud and raring to go for the weekend ahead. You kind of get the gist, right? Now, it could be anything for you, but the trick is to intercept yourself in the moment you notice you're getting negative. Now, there are many pre-penned affirmations out there available to you. If you look up Louise Hay, if you're not already familiar with her work, now this woman is phenomenal. I absolutely admire her work and have used her work in my healing processes and my journey through all of my sort of, um, you know, past relationships with food, body, relationships, etc. So go and have a look at her work. This woman healed herself of cancer as, as using affirmations as well as some other holistic therapies out there. So have a look at her work, but I'm sure Louise would agree with me when I say that using an affirmation that is specific to you and an area that you're struggling with can bring so much power and can be extremely useful in your forward motion journey. Now, affirmations can be used in many different ways. We, you can use them verbally, just by repeating them. You can also, you know, dot them around the house in written form, either on post-it notes or on, you know, you can take some time and write them out on a beautiful piece of, you know, paper or card and decorate, make, you know, make it feel good for you when you look at it and pop it somewhere in the house that you regularly frequent. Or you can pop them on your phone. Now we've already talked about mantras and stuff. Now affirmations are really, really only going to work for you. I mean, it doesn't work to say, I, I am slim, I am slim, I am slim, I am slim, but underneath you feel, you know, a hundred pounds. Um, it really is important to dose up the affirmation with some really good feeling emotions. So tend to your vibration level, which we've already talked about, Make sure you're doing everything that you can to feel good and then begin using your affirmations. Now, I will pop some affirmations in the email today for you so you've got some to refer back to that are quite relevant to the journey that you are on with your weight loss and use them, um, extract the power. They are so, so powerful.